Hey, what's up guys? Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sakucha here, and I'm continuing on. This is part two of explaining the Avid Reels sizes and what they mean. A lot of people are trying to get into Avid Reels and they don't understand the sizes and, and stuff like that, which is fine. I mean, we all, I, I, you know, when they came out with them, I was like, ah, I don't know, you know? So I had to learn the Reels and then figure out a way that I can translate the knowledge over to you, my customers. So, as you saw in the last video, I explained the small, medium, large, and extra large series on that, but that does not explain the one speed, the two speed, the G series, the, uh, the Raptor, I mean, they've got all these variations, and it's only going to get even worse because they're coming out with the Star Drag, and I say worse because that's just that many more names and sizes that you're going to have to remember or understand. So let me go ahead and take a little bit of your time today to show you a good way to break this down and then this is also going to help you understand which reel is going to work best for what style of fishing you're going to be doing because obviously sometimes you can't throw down four or five hundred dollars for a reel and you only need the two hundred dollar reel. Save yourself some money guys, pay attention. We got a lot of knowledge coming your way and if you're just now subscribing to our channel, thank you very much. And keep passing the word. We, the faster we can grow, the faster we can hit our next mark. And I've got a huge, I got a huge thing once we hit our 5,000 subscribers. Yes, 5K is going to be an extreme giveaway, guys. I mean, this is going to be pretty, pretty epic. I cannot divulge any more information other than it's going to be extreme, guys. This is going to be huge for us. I mean, as well as the channel and everything else, but I definitely, like I said, if the guys have met me and come in and chilled with me here at the shop, you understand how I work. I get lifted up, I'm going to lift everybody else up with me. So stay tuned, guys. We've got a lot of growing to do, and, you know, let's get on with the knowledge. So. Yeah, got a fight. Got a fight. I got, a, got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team Alright, so here you have seen where I broke down the names and the sizes Now, I need to do a little more explaining Alright, so Let's do this So we've got SX MXL, LX, and then HXW. We got the Gen 1 series, which is what most of y'all are pretty fluent in with the reels because this is what they originally came out with. And then they got G2 series, and then you've got Raptor. Right, so, SX in a Gen 1 series, this one will pull out. This is, we're gonna do strike on top and then full at bottom. So we've got nine pounds at strike, 14 at bottom. On the MXL, it's the same thing, nine and 14. So, then you go to the LX and you got 15 and 20. And then you got HX series, or the HXW, and you got 22 28. Now strike is where you set it up and you start fighting your fish. When you go from that same position and you lock it all the way over, that's where you put out 14 pounds of drag. Now that's a regular series right there and this goes for <laughs> this goes for your single speed and two speeds in this series. One speed, two speed. Okay? which also includes the MC class, which is the magnetic control. Now looking at this, when you're doing with an SX and you go one speed or two speed, you're still gonna have the same amount of drag, same amount of line. Um, all right, so, same amount of line, same amount of line capacity, or same amount of drag and line capacity for all the reels. This one has its own, this one has its own, and so forth. Okay, so 
you have to ask yourself that question. Whether you want a single speed, a two speed, or an MC, in this series, that's what you're always gonna have. It does not matter if it's a single speed or two speed, you're gonna have this on here. Now, when you go up to the G2 series, <clears throat> it increases to 13 and 20, and, it, and that's the same for both the MXL and the SX. The LX goes to 21 and 28. All right, so when you get to the HXW series, they don't have a G2 in them. It's only on these three sizes. So right here is your G2 series. Okay. Now with the HXW, what it does, well, let me go back over here. Once you go from Gen 1 to Gen 2, then you got Raptor. This is basically your happy medium between a lot of drag and an okay drag, all right? So, once you go up to the Raptor series, now you're dealing with 17 and then 26. And it, this one actually goes to 21 and 31. The LX is gonna go 28 and 30. Yep, I like Raptor 2838. And I've got my little series here because that's a lot of numbers to try to remember off your hand, especially early in the morning. I have not had my coffee yet, but I'm trying to get this broken up for you. And these are a lot of numbers, but I'm just trying to give you a quick little rundown of this. And that way you can better understand what you're dealing with when you're talking about with these reels. Now with the HXW Raptor series, you're dealing with 40 pounds of strike and 50 pounds at lockdown. Now, <clears throat> with going with the G2 series in comparison to the G1, that's the same thing. You have a single speed, you have a two speed, and then you have the same thing. One speed, MC, two speed, MC. Same drag, same line capacity. And it repeats itself over for the G2 series. You got one speed, two speed, one speed MC, two speed MC. Okay, now this is where it changes. When you get to the Raptor series in this, it's only a two speed MC. It's only one, one series of that reel right there. Over here you have four of them. Single speed, two speed, two speed, or single speed MC, two speed MC. But even though you got an SX G2 MC, two speed, you're still dealing with the same drag, same line capacity. And the same line capacity goes for all three series of reels in each of these categories across. Okay. So the same line capacity for these all the way across. All right, so that's just for this series right here, same line capacity. These have their own line capacities for each of them, but I just wanted to show you the drag increase from you know, your SX to your MXL to your LX to HXW. And like I said, I was trying not to make it too confusing, but I wanted to break it down real quick. You got your generation one, and these are your four to choose from. G2, these are your four to choose from. And then your Raptor. It's only one to choose from. Um, with going from a G1 to a G2, that drag increase is really more prevalent or where you really need it is when you're dealing with the two speeds. And the reason for that is because when you go to lock that reel over and use that lower gear, you need the drag to support what you want to actually do. Because and once you drop it down and lock it over in gear and you drop it into lower gear and you start cranking and you don't have the drag it needs to be able to do that lower torque, you're basically spinning your, spinning your gears. You're not going anywhere. So if you're going to go any kind of surf fishing using surf weights, you want to stick with G2 or higher. Okay, let's see if I can see that. Yes, okay, okay. 
you're doing any kind of surf, the surf weights, stuff like that, you want to go G2 series or higher. Okay. You want all the bells and whistles and never have to worry about your reel, then I highly recommend going with the Raptor. Hands down if you can afford it. If you can't, even if you go with the G2 single speed with MC for casting ability, you're getting the same drag as a two speed. The two speed helps you for when you don't catch a fish and you're trying to torque in your surf weight, or you do have a fish on and he's sitting there just bogging down, you can drop it down the gear and start cranking. And each time that he shakes his head and comes up like this, you're getting those few more inches, few more inches, and soon that fish is on the surface. So this is a more in-depth explanation of your original series, your G2 series, and your Raptor on these reels. And I hope I didn't speak too fast on that. And I hope it was everything y'all needed to know and to understand with these series and what it meant. So remember, same line capacity, same drag for these reels in those categories or those... Um, series of reels. You got your Gen, Gen 1 series, G2 series, and your Raptor. So whether it goes, and these go all the way down. You got your single speed, two speed, single speed MC, two speed MC. All of them have the same thing up to the Raptor. The Raptor is the only one that is in its own category. And like I said, I didn't include the J series or the, the narrow series on the HXW because that's a whole nother diagram that I have to pull over. But just remember, you want line capacity for land-based fishing, these, these are the sizes you're going to be looking for. Small, medium, large. Alright guys, I hope that was enough information for y'all. And again, like I said, <clears throat> this is Team Hard Life Captain Alvin Sartuccia. We've been fishing for Avids for more than a decade now. And it is one of the best things that's ever happened to us uh, for land-based fishing. And now, I, like I said, I mean... I used to have 27 rod and reel combos because I needed a reel that couldn't do what this one could do or vice versa. I do now. These reels, I mean, I literally, you see me fish with these four sizes for virtually all the different styles of fishing I'm doing. The only time I ever change up anything, line my uh, rod length. Because obviously I'm not going to take a 10 foot rod on a boat or on a kayak. But I can switch up and put my 9 footers on or my shorter rods, still the same reels. So if you want to save some money off with yourself, be sure to ask yourself this question. What are you going to be doing with it? And how do you want to fish that reel? I mean, this is, these are some big questions. I mean, and this is also going to save you. I mean, if you don't need a raptor, you're doing some small inshore fishing, freshwater, you, you're dropping off a boat and they got nowhere to run and stuff like that. And you really don't need a raptor unless you know you're battling some big old monsters in there and they keep spooling you or whatever then you can upgrade your line capacity and go with the higher drag capacity reel so yeah just food for thought guys me personally like i said i fish with almost nothing but raptors i have fished with the jet g1 series and the single speed and i have gotten my butt kicked on a lot of big fish because not because i didn't land them but because the fight capacity it was on their side. They had a lot more to give than I did. And so it took me longer to fight them. Now I'm dealing over here, so I'm fighting these fish in quick. Which means I'm not wearing myself off. I'm not wearing the fish out as much. I can get into the boat quicker or to the pier faster. Which means when I go to release them, they swim off faster and stronger than they would if I did a longer fight battle over here. Alright guys, I hope that helps y'all greatly. And if y'all have any more questions, feel free to ask and comment within the channel. Like I said, you know, don't be afraid. If you don't ask a question, I can't help you. And this is only going to help me help y'all. So, again, guys, y'all have a good one. And we'll see you later.